The Sesquiders has been working hard on learning our basics, improvising our sounds, and advancing our rhythm and knowledge. Our, our first song will be Jingle Bells in a three-part arrangement. We talk about balancing for this song because if too many people play one part, we cannot hear the other two parts well enough.
Bible uses to play a march across the seas by Bruce Pierce. This song helps us learn that most marches written for band have an introduction, first theme, second theme, and a closing section. It is a full band arrangement, which means each section has their own part.
seventh eighth grade band has been working on our holiday music for several weeks now. We open with Bob Sled Run by Lloyd Conley. Imagine the feel of the cold wind in your face as you cream down the bobsled course. The magic of winter is evident in this captivating work. Take a ride with us. Silver Bells was written in, in 1950 by Jay Livingston and Ray Evans. It was first known as Tinkle Bells until Mr. Livingst Livingston went home and told his wife about the title, and for obvious reasons, she talked him out of it. Bing Crosby was the first to record it. It is said that the, me that the meaning is from the hearing of the Salvation Army bells ringing on the sidewalks in the city near Christmas time, asking for, the for help asking for help for the less fortunate.
We studied the opera The Barber of Seville in preparation for our next song called The Santa of Seville. Arranged by Mark Williams, Rosina's famous opera has many memorable melodies that are woven with We Three Kings, Deck the Halls, God Rest Ye Merry Gentlemen, Up on the Housetop, and Angels We Have Heard on High. See if you can hear all of those holiday classics. We close with The Merry Christmas Machine by Mark Williams. This song begins with a racket winding up a musical machine. The machine runs smoothly until, like a wind-up toy, it runs down and stops. Meanwhile, you will hear pieces of jingle bells, angels we have heard on high, deck the halls, and finally, after one final wind-up, we wish you a Merry Christmas.
Despite its upbeat character, the story behind this winter wonderland is anything but joyful. In a particularly cold and long winter during the early 1930s, a young man named Richard Smith, who had been suffering from the disease of tuberculosis, found himself in a home in Pennsylvania recovering from another bout of the deadly infection. Days were long and spent in the comfort of his room, daydreaming about a normal and healthy life that would enable him to play outside in the snow like the children he was watching from his window. This innocent scene inspired the young man to write a beautiful poem about the carefree fun of a day in the snow. Smith showed the lyrics to his friend and musician Felix Bernard in 1934. Bernard immediately set to work at composing a melody to go along with the words. This arrangement of Winter Wonderland is by Joyce Eilers. You have a wild ride indeed. This was the Big Bang style swing number from the blockbuster holiday movie, The Polar Express. Hot chocolate was sung by the onboard waiters who served hot chocolate to, you, to the delighted writers.
Winter sings its song by Doug Douglas Wagner combines two French carols set in a minor key. The new lyrics describe the dark, cold, yet peaceful feel of December's shortened days. Snow Globe, arranged by Andy Beck, is a whimsical holiday pop song that describes how fun life would be in a, inside a snow globe. It stacks harmonies and has a great hook, which is fun to perform. The catchy chorus will have, a, will have you singing along.
Moonlight Sleigh Ride by Don Bessig starts with a beautiful musical scale pattern that represents the snowflakes whirling all around. When the singer decides to go for a sleigh ride, the tempo and moving melody lines allow us to feel what it would be like riding along, laughing while the winds whip through our hair.